this way and you hurt, I keep bleeding I don't know why you act like you're innocent You wanna take a piece of my heart again I get it up, cause I just don't know Something in your eyes, the way you stay me that I like I wanna let you go, but it's like something holds me tight been a week honey it is thursday <clears throat> Woo! and i was supposed to have been back here talking to y'all um after my workout on monday but y'all see i ain't came back to today uh trying to put my shoe on to show y'all my tulip is um the tulip opened up i gotta get this Child, they keep just piling. <clears throat> I need to be out here with a mask on. But my tulip opened up, <laughs> the one that was a little baby. Look, y'all, my tulip has popped up. Super excited, and I think this might be echinacea from last year. But it looks like it might have a little illness. And that's another tulip. I don't think this one's gonna do anything though, because there's only one, one leaf. This is wildflowers, so they're coming up pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Let's see what else we got over here. Let's see if these carrots are doing anything. Probably not. Nope, not yet. They're not, oh, wait a minute. Down there. Okay, let's put that back up there. And let's put that back there. And I just put these down. Ooh, it's an earthworm. Y'all see that earthworm? I went on the planet the Thai basil it'll it'll start to stand up the more it gets watered but there's one there's one and here's one they have really good roots on them so they will grow in I showed y'all this Sunday I'm gonna go ahead and bring some soil over here and um put the soil in here and go ahead and add um some flowers and stuff I don't exactly know what kind of flowers yet, but I'm gonna add some in here. Girl, wait a minute. I think that it's um some leaves coming on my little blueberry thing. <gasps> I'm getting little leaves already, y'all. Look, I just planted these. Y'all saw that on, what was that? Saturday? Now the raspberry, she naked. She ain't got nothing going on. But here's the other one. Leaves are getting larger. Love that. And but this is super super exciting. I am stoked to see little leaves. Hey, little blueberry leaves. I am excited. Gardening is so exciting to me. Let's see anything going on over here. Nothing really. I, I'm gonna take this this flower out too and put that in there. What? Okay, it's always something blowing in my face when I'm out here. Um yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna get that because i don't want to lose that nasturtium um i need to get out here when it's warmer and get the leaves from around that oregano bush so that i can see what we're working with and let's see if there's anything else is going on over here before i go it back onto the porch something got to this leaf on this cabbage don't look too good. I'm gonna put it in the, in the compost. Is that rain? Girl, shut up. It's about to rain. Oh well. I got a mess out here. So I got my these. Oh my gosh. I gotta get my life together on this porch, y'all. I got stuff everywhere. I didn't even realize my heat might have been plugged up this whole time. 
my seeds been sitting on it. This week with work, it's just crazy because I need some gloves. Hold on one second. Okay, what I was gonna say was, now I need a cup. Oh, I can reach the cup stuff. This is um heavy reporting month, and I have three reports due this month. So me getting off work and still, you know, cooking dinner, taking care of my house garden stuff has had to kind of like wait so i'm gonna do a little bit today a little bit i think i'm gonna do try to do some tomorrow um i know i'm gonna get some done sunday saturday is a possibility but no promises that i'm making to myself i hope i'm not cutting my head off because of the way that i have this phone set up kind of janky i am getting ready to and i know i'm you know <laughs> not putting this watermelon in here probably shouldn't be putting all four in this one container but that's what i'm gonna have to do for right now um because it has decent holes in the bottom of it and as you can tell um these this cell is this cell tray is just way too small for them so i should probably be planting them in individual cups but as you can see that's not what i'm doing i just thought about something i have a pot that they can go in so i'm gonna put them in that pot because it's larger i forgot i have these um larger um cells that i can use instead of trying to cram them all in one container i could put two in a container just like they are now. I don't know, these kind of stuck together, okay. I love to do this gardening stuff because it's really like a um, stress reliever, if you will. And although I don't have really high levels of stress, it's just a lot this time of this time of year for me a lot well this time of the month in each quarter so i just be trying to um learn and balance I'm trying to learn balance i just told somebody that today that i'm trying to learn how to balance work and getting you know stuff done that i need to get done things done that i want to get done we can't do it all but what i can do i want to do and my garden is super important to me why do i only have one in here oh it's two my gardening is super important to me because it's like a kind of like a level of accomplishment when you see what you can grow and then you can eat and i was watching the video last night and the way that it was explained was absolutely perfect so, hold on y'all, I'm trying to find something small to get this soil out because my gloves are huge. So I need yet another tool. I think it's time for me to replant my chamomile also. So I'm gonna put the chamomile in this pot. But last night I was watching a live and if you're, if you're into gardening, if you're into perfumes, um, anything like that go and follow plant-based helen she's out of <clears throat> houston and last night on the live she was like you know do does, does she like name brands and you know expensive things absolutely yes but it's it's costly like the handbags and you know the a lot of the brands are just super expensive and so she was like, you know, my big flex is that I grew the food that me and my family eats. And I'm like, you know what? I ain't never thought about it like that. That is a flex. Like to say that the vegetables and the fruits that are in your house and the herbs that are in your house came from your garden. Man, I never even looked at it like that. But that is a super flex to be able to say oh yeah i just i just went outside and cut it and i because it really does excite me when i can go outside and 
cut my own herbs and then in the summertime um because i have not gardened in the winter yet it was my plan to do so this year but i just didn't do it i didn't because i i really didn't study it enough and figure out you know what to plant and how to properly plant so that was all on me this what soil is so wet um i need this to dry out um but rest assured i will be planting the winter of 2024 i'm gonna have a winter garden oh now i gotta bring the vacuum out here oh gone it i got dirt all over this floor when she said that i was like you know what you said a word there that is a huge flex to be able to say you know i don't have to go to the store and get my watermelons or you know different things because i can grow them in my own yard that now where did that dog gonna cup go yo where did that cup go oh it failed I think I'm gonna just take this rug up and just shake it outside and then I need to get the vacuum out of the garage anyway I need my husband's heavy duty that shop back um oh y'all know I gotta get up again right because I need a tray under that to catch all that soil another thing I wanted to share I started wearing my waist trainer again because I gotta get this stomach down. I think I have way past the food paw stage and I just now got stomach. So I started my waist trainer. Y'all know I, I told y'all I was starting back at the gym and it's crazy cause I actually like working out. And I, I know that sounds weird, but I actually enjoy working out. So Oh man, this is really in here. How do I get this out without damaging my plants? I just want to take the whole thing out. Oh, I just want the whole thing to come out. Um, yeah, but I actually do like to work out. So I'll be glad when this month is actually over because I won't be so tired in the mornings and I can actually get up and work out every single morning. I've been doing it like I did go to the gym the other day. I'm probably going to go again Saturday. I'm not going to go tomorrow. I'm going to work out at home, which is what I have been doing the other days this week. Y'all, I'm struggling. Oh, oh, I think I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's just been a struggle trying to get up in the morning and get to the gym on time and make sure I get back home to log in on time, take a shower and all that. Mm, I don't want to go through all that. Mm -mm. So I don't, I just work out at home. And that was another thing that she was talking about, like, you know, having gym memberships. It's expensive. It is very expensive. My gym membership just for me is $39 a month and it's a small gym. It's not like there's a whole lot at the gym but i like it because it is small oh that's much too much soil oh well okay it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be fine all right so i got the chamomile replanted repotted Wait, that's there it is Okay, so there's the chamomile. Okay, I'm not going to take y'all outside with me because I don't have the right tripod, but I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. I'll take you and show you what I've done after I finish. But I'm going to put some soil in the um, the raised garden box, and I'm going to plant some chives, some rainbow beets, some dill, and some rainbow radishes. So I'm hoping that I get a good amount of crops from these because i don't think i have many seeds so i think you only get one plant per seed so we'll see but i can do some succession planting also so once these grow then i'll be able to pull up and get some more i'm trying to figure out what um 
and I'm so excited. I cannot wait until I show y'all the um, stackable planners from the Dollar Tree and how I'm going to do them. I think I might have showed y'all. I can't remember, but I cannot wait to get them done. Okay, so in here you can see the strawberries. I also planted some nasturtium because remember I said I wanted this nasturtium to like start growing up and cascading over so that's what i planted some back there and then i have some nasturtium planted in here not a lot there's one down here somewhere it must have went under the dirt but i also have chives dill radishes and beets in here and then in here i planted some peas and i put my um tomato cage up because they need something to grab onto and the taller they get i'll probably get like um i have some yard steaks down there Oh, that got really blurry. But right there, uh, that's horrible. But on my stand that's over there in the corner, um, I have some yard stakes, some garden stakes. So it's the taller that the peas get, I'll plant some of the, um, put some of the stakes in here so they can continue to have something to vine up. But I'm pretty pleased with what I got done today. My nails look horrible because my gloves just, they got a hole in them and I didn't realize it. So next up, y'all look up one of the wildflowers from last year just popped back up. Look at that. It's a couple of them right there. That's going to be one also. So yeah, we got some some more work to do. I'm waiting for another one on oh, some more wildflowers right there and back there. I'm gonna wait for a warm day to come back out here and um, get the rest of these leaves up because we're getting ready to have the house power wash. And then I can really get busy as soon as we get our last frost. So yeah, y'all, I'm excited about everything. Oh, and I planted the cabbage and I covered them with some mesh netting i'm probably gonna go get a laundry bag that has smaller holes that way if any of those um fake butterflies they're white if any of them come down to try to lay eggs on my cabbage it'll be um protected a little bit more i'm surprised that that cabbage is still trying to do something over there and then down here i do see some more spinach coming up and the mint is doing good that i planted this weekend that y'all saw um and the deal is doing good was that one always there i think it was but this whole area is gonna be meant so i'm super excited about that it's cold and it keeps like drizzling off and on so i'm actually done out here for the day why am i taking my water can and this needs to stay over here so that it can collect water that's what i'll use the little basket for i'll um set my two watering cans in the little basket over here <gasps> and i can get hopefully they'll stay sitting up to where they can collect water what so i set my little watering cans in there and the basil that way um if the wind gets heavy or strong rather it won't blow my basil over because i'm still waiting for the basil and sage to root and then that's a cute little place for me to sit the watering can so they can collect water I finished doing what I was going to do outside, came in because why is this TV so loud? Oh my God. What's this? This Gordon Ramsay? Yeah, that's Gordon Ramsay. Kitchen Nightmares. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch it. But I was glad to get as much done as I did. I did have in mind to plant more to start more seeds in my pots but once i realized i needed i have not gotten my had not gotten my peas started and it's really time to go ahead and get those started because um oh my god my toes are freezing because i don't want to um you know i they're kind of they don't stand tolerate heat very well they like heat but then they don't like heat all at the same time weird i know so i went on and got those planted because i had to get those done and um what else i wanted to get some flowers out and i now tomorrow i need to um well not tomorrow i'm not even gonna say tomorrow because it's not gonna be tomorrow but i'm gonna get some more nasturtium seeds started because i really want those to start and 
really started to grow because they did very well with keeping the aphids and stuff away from my um green beans last year um i planted them in a lot of places last year and i'm gonna try to link one of my garden videos and so that y'all can see it um but yeah i want to make sure i have plenty of nasturtium planted and they're edible you can put them like in salads and stuff um so i'm gonna plant plenty of those i know i need to get some more seeds so i need to go ahead and order me some more nasturtium seeds nasturtium nasturtium however you say it um get that done but i'm super excited and i really want to add a few more strawberry plants outside too um because i only have like six plants i think i wanted to have at least 10 so i'm gonna go buy some more strawberry plants now that i'm probably gonna do sunday or i might do it saturday because after i leave i'm going to an event saturday so after i leave my event saturday did I just scratch my head I think so. I'm going to wash my hands anyway. Um, after I leave my event, I might swing by the farmer's market and get me some um, strawberry plants. I'm hoping that they have some, they have like the four cells. Because if I could get two of those, they'll be perfect. Uh, we're ready to eat. Watch these few dishes. <laughs> And um, I'm going to be in the bed by 8 o'clock tonight. It's 7 o'clock. I should be able to eat, wash these up. only a handful of dishes. 8.30 at the latest. But I'm going to bed early because I'm tired. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to uh, get with y'all. If not tomorrow, I'll see y'all Saturday. Hey, y'all. So, I am now on my way to the um, convention center for wine tasting. Um, camera seems crooked, and it looks like they're gonna have like crafts and stuff in there. So, y'all stay tuned to see what we got going on, okay? Okay.
later. Because my lips were super dry and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna stop and get me some fast food. Um, oh, I was like, what is that sound? It's the cap from my camera. My camera's in my purse, no, it's not, it's in my bag. Um, because y'all know I'm still kind of like getting into this whole camera thing, um, having a fun time learning how to use it. I don't know how the girlies do it when they do like when they're at a gas station. I probably did I just give myself whiplash. The wine festival was absolutely amazing. I had some samples of wine, some black owned wines, um, some whiskeys, some uh, cocktails made from the whiskeys. Shout out to my brother Tim because he got me a lavender old fashioned, knowing how much I love old fashions. Shout out to my brother for getting me a lavender old fashioned, because I'm a lavender girl, I'm an old fashioned girl. So I was hooked immediately. Um, oh, jewelry, she in sweater, tie shirt, my husband. I don't know the brand. It might be Izod, I don't know, but it's my husband. And jeans are Levi and boots are Tumbles. Shades amazing from Amazon. In my purse, I've had this bag for forever. I don't even, this bag is probably 22, 20, 23 years old. But anyway, I am um, trying to figure out where I'm gonna get something to eat from. Uh, Cause I'm hungry. I had a really good time at the wine tasting. Ran into family, ran into friends. I mean, absolutely, absolutely amazing time. Do we want Popeyes? No, I really want some breakfast food. That's what I really want. I don't know. That's a lot of white smoke. I hope his head gasket ain't broke. I should probably charge my phone because the battery level is low. What are we gonna eat, y'all? Hold on. Y'all, what are we gonna eat? Happy 13th 
Can I have some body buffalo? Absolutely. Thank you. today this shrimp is actually exceptionally delicious y'all hold on y'all brother calling me hey y'all so um now we are at tacos and tequila in Ghent. yeah we're at tacos and tequila in the Ghent area get ready to get some dinner I'm not gonna be able to vlog much because they have a lot of music playing and we are kind of like right near the speakers. So I'm probably gonna get some, um, I don't even get nothing. I don't need nothing else to drink, but I might get one drink, I don't know. And I might get the shrimp street tacos. I'm looking to see if they have a vegetarian, blend, a vegetarian taco. I left my glasses at home. So let me see what they have. And I'll show y'all whatever I end up getting because I don't even know what I want to get right now. Hey y'all, all right. So clearly I did not come back last night and show y'all what I ended up eating because by the time the food came out, the music was up and we were talking and we were just in our conversation. So I just did not pick up the camera to interrupt our conversation because I we went separate ways all day he had things to do i was going to the wine tasting so when we finally met back up of course you know we had to catch up for the day i know we married and stuff but sometimes you know even a few hours apart you have a whole lot to talk about today is all about tea this is berry patch let me turn some light on over here oops That's a little bit better. This is the berry patch, loose leaf. I get it from the farmer's market. I'll turn it this way so that y'all can see that it says berry patch black tea. Um, and I just have, I just have honey in it and some lemon. And I just haven't taken out my tea ball because I like it too. I like it kind of strong. But anyway, I ended up getting these um, veggie quesadillas. Oh my gosh, they were so good. I just ate the, the leftovers because I only ate one there last night and some of the um, refried beans. So good, not salty, seasoned to perfection. Tacos and tequila, we will be going back. That restaurant was so good. He had heated up his fajita today and he was like, the seasoning went into it more. That's when you know a restaurant know how to cook, when it tastes better the next day. So I got the veggie quesadillas and absolutely amazing. Um, and they were huge. <clears throat> now, what I ended up picking up from the wine festival yesterday, I got this Virginia Mountain Vineyard Skyline as a red wine. And I also got this Petit Verdot um from the same winery there were so many out there i didn't know which ones i wanted so i ended up getting this one these two this one is 13 13 percent alcohol by volume and this one is also 13 percent. i can't see hold on oh yo my eyes and the allergies are not helping because everything looks glassy 13 percent. so i got those two wines but I will be ordering from other wineries because oh my, I tried so many good wines, some good um, single malt whiskeys. I got some more video of that coming. Um, y'all will see all of that. Or actually, y'all have seen all of that already because that was earlier in the video. I'm just here today telling you how much I enjoyed myself last night and yesterday. So I got some um, international snacks while I was there from um so a friend of mine dara she had posted on her page that if you see an international um vendor there stop by because it was her cousin so of course i stopped to support so i got a list of this passion fruit pineapple drink i uh, also got her some 
nori seaweed chips. They're Lay's. This is the Lay's brand, International. And some, these are Kit Kats. They're individually wrapped. Chocolate orange. So that's what I got from the wine tasting yesterday. There was just so many things. Like there's this vendor that I really want to order from. She had all cork things. And I think I got some of that on video. It was probably earlier, like in this video. But it was just so much to see. So, um, yeah, so I got these things for Alyssa and I'm gonna put them in a box and send them to her this week. Everything was $15. Um, yeah, I paid $15 for those three items. And then the wines, I think I paid about 60 bucks. I think they were $30 each, I think, which is, I mean, about right for the most part. But let's see, where's this winery? It's in Finn Castle, Virginia. Never heard of that area, but the wine is good. Apparently, they know what they're doing in Finn Castle. Anyway, I just wanted to just come back and let y'all know it was a good day. It is now Sunday. I am shutting down. Um, I have been lazy all day today. I'm about to get work done after this. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all Wednesday. Wednesday, we are... What are we doing Wednesday? Wednesday, we cooking. All right, so Wednesday's video is going to be cooking. We are going to do two sheet pan meals. Something very easy, something quick, but it's good for meal prep. So we're gonna do um, get yourself together, get your aprons on if you use them, get your ingredients. We're gonna do, um, it's gonna either be salmon or uh, steelhead trout, or it, you could even use cod because you need a nice thick piece of fish. You're gonna need, if you eat Brussels sprouts, you're gonna need some Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, carrots, onion, um, and if you don't eat Brussels sprouts, you could also use um, asparagus or green beans could possibly work too. So here's the ingredient list. Your meats are, you're gonna choose from salmon, steelhead trout or cod. And if you wanna do all three, you could do all three. You're also gonna need some beef, some nice like stew beef, nice thick pieces. You're gonna need two sheet pans if you make both meals. It's really good for food prep, so trust me. Um, you're gonna need sweet potatoes, carrots, onion. Then you're gonna need one or all of these, whichever green vegetable, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, green beans. We're gonna make both of these sheet pan meals, get you some containers, because that way we can put everything in containers and we can have those meals already prepped for a few days down the line. You can use them for lunch, you can use them for dinner, but it, we're gonna do some meal prepping um, Wednesday, just so that we can have meals that are quick to cook, but last a few days, that way you don't have to be in the kitchen every day. So y'all stay tuned for Wednesday's cooking video. We're gonna do some sheet pans, um, sheet pan meals, and um, that's a way of meal prep. So um, on that note, Love, peace, and blessings to each one of you, each and every one of you. And I'll talk to y'all Wednesday. Love you. Bye.